Well, good afternoon and welcome to the preview for Shark 10 on Sunday. Fairly, it's a it's a good meeting from a spectacle point of view, not that flash of meeting from a betting point of view. There's um, not a lot of depth in these races. There's going to be a few short ones. There's three or four races that have basically got, you know, two or three chances in the race. Um, there's no jackpot, so no TT or six up play. The only thing we may consider are the quartets. We'll have a closer look at them in the morning and uh, see what the markets look like. If we've got a bit of value there, we might have a go. Otherwise, we'll wait for the uh, we'll wait for the jackpot uh, next week at Tappy Valley midweek. Uh, we go to race one. Dol Tartini beat them very easy last start. This is no harder. Um, he's given it six weeks off. His track work's been really solid. It's the one to beat. Maria is riding really well, so no no disadvantage there other than the price. Uh, the only clip, um it's got a good alley. This, if it can hold up from the barrier, it might might be a chance at a bit of a price. Uh, it's trialled all right, so give it a chance. Lucky choice has trialled all right since the first up win. It's had six weeks off, but the trial was pretty soft. Uh, Global fame, Dane South, Starlit Warrior. These have all got some chance to run a play. So I've got 10 on top from 5, 8, 9, 7 and 13. Races 2 and 3 have got on race, so we pass. We go to race 4. Uh, robust momentum was impressive winning last start coming from a fair way back. He's going to have to do it again from the from the bad draw. Chadwick goes on with 53 and a half. It's got a chance. Celestial Smile has been very consistent without winning. It's placed 4 out of 4. It's due an ounce of luck. Uh, Maria goes on it, so that'll just about guarantee it starts favourites. Uh, the two that I've found here at a little bit of a price, I think. Uh, King's Folks. Now, this drew bad last start and then got a shit mixer at the start and had to go back. And it was winding up really nicely late. Normally goes and races uh, either in front or outside the lead. That's where it runs its best races. From barrier seven, if he gets it out of the gates and it doesn't play out, I think it'll go forward and sit outside the lead or not a lot of speed here. He might even want to go to the front. And the other one is really the best. Now, I think this is probably the one that'll lead. This hasn't had any luck with the barrier draws until this until today. And uh, from barrier one with 48 and a half, if he sools it up and goes to the front and they don't attack him, uh, he'll give them something to chase in the last 250 metres. I think they're the four was probably lucky then, best of the rest. Uh, I've got 12 on top from two with good chances to four and 14 at a price and six. Uh, we go to race five. Again, a race with not many winning chances in my opinion. I think the winner comes from uh, three Shishwan exec, 12 club life, five big four. I think one of those three is probably going to win the race. Um, there's a couple that could run into the placings. Uh, Asia Rising's an interesting one. Uh, was working uh, okay leading into the first run. Then he found all sorts of trouble, hung all over the place, and was starting to do its best work, and then found trouble, and then he didn't ride it out. Uh, track work's good, so it could be one at a big price that might run a ticky. Uh, I'm in charge, another one that's trialled well. Uh, it's drawn well. Casper Founds is going good this season, so... It's got. It's not impossible. Um, but I've got two. Uh, sorry, three on top from twelve and five. Chances at a price to eleven one nine. We go to race six. Uh, there's a lot of trial horses here. Uh, number ten, Teofilo uh, Calva. That's a pretty smart horse. This got a bit of ability. Um, another one of Marrera's. He's probably going to be teased on for the jockey challenge. He's got some decent rides. Uh, it's trial well enough to win this. It's ready to go. Uh, Mighty K. Yeah, not sure about this horse. I think uh, maybe maybe Happy Valley level now for it. Uh, full talent. This thing uh, went to the front and won it around 150 to 1. Unlikely we're going to see a repeat of that here. Um, that was a nice fluke. So. It's had its win. I think Dining Star is probably one that's going to improve. Uh, significant riding change here with Teton going on. I like this guy. Very aggressive. I think it's got a chance. Gowling Lucky Star. Now, this was a good run first start in Hong Kong. Found trouble. Um, and 
then wound up really well the last couple of hundred metres. It's working well. The problem with it, of course, Mosse is riding it. So from barrier three, the best we can hope for is three wide. Um, he's riding like he did last year. He's murdering just about everything he puts his leg over. So even from barrier one, he had one the other day and he managed to get it out four wide. The commentators were uh, not, not impressed with the ride, neither were the stewards. Sooner or later, someone will say something and uh, they'll have to do something. But uh, he's riding like a complete shitter now, so we can't have him on anything. I've got 10 on top. Uh, Teoflo Calva from 11 Dining Star. 3 Mighty K. Chances to 5 Galing Lucky Star. 13 Golden Deer. And uh, number 7 Bespoke Collars. I think I have to put that one in. Um, could be a bit of a price this one. Uh, we go to race seven. We get down to the uh, the better races now. Got good quality horses uh, and not a lot of depth is going to be here in the market. I think this race uh, looks like four or five of the top liners here. One of them's going to win the race. Whoever gets the best run in transit. Uh, flagship nine. No hope to run the trip uh, back to its pet distance of 1,400. This is what it likes the best. The barrier is absolutely no favour here. Um, not a lot of speed, so perhaps he presses forward, gets outside the leader. If he can do that, that's good enough. He can probably win. Super Lifeline beat a mediocre lot last start, but it's racing well. Smart Volatility is a pretty good horse. Um, six wins from the seven runs. Again, it's drawn bad. Lucky Nine was a good win first up. Uh, missed the kick. And they rode it cold and just got there. Probably a little bit lucky to win. I think there were a couple that found a bit of trouble in that race. Uh, five of them hit the line within half a length. I think Sterling City should have beaten them easy, but he got blocked all the way down the straight. So I think the win's a little bit tarnished. Um, and goal fun, well, it was given no hope last start. Now he's, he's given it eight weeks off. They've obviously earmarked it for this, so it's got to go in as a winning chance. Uh, unfortunately, the best chances have all drawn wide. Uh, seven on top from nine, ten, one, two. We go to race eight. Uh, the Derby looks a two outer. I mean, uh, designs on Rome. He rode a beautiful race on it last start. He flushed Maria out early. Um, I don't think that'll happen again. I think he can turn the tables on it this time. There's not much between these two horses. Whoever gets the best run in transit um, is probably going to win the race. I can't see any of the others making up the ground. They were all just beaten too far um, by these two horses that were really easing down on the line. They were three or four lengths in front, so it's hard to imagine anything. Uh, probably the, the one that may have a little bit of upside um, because it hasn't had a lot of runs, is uh, the sixth, Dibiani. Now, it's only had a couple of runs. I think this is probably the only legitimate chance to roll two or one. Uh, places, yeah, there's a few that could run sort of third and fourth in this. So uh, I've got two marginally ahead of one and six, and then chances for three, 14, eight, 10, and 11 on the place line. We go to race nine, number one, Kaya. Um, he was earmarking this for the derby, didn't get into the field, didn't have enough ratings points. Um, should be able to win this. They thought they could win the derby. If they thought they could win this, they should kill these. Um, it won't be any price. Fantastic Carco was impressive last start. He's given it eight weeks off. Track work's been good. Uh, Malayan Pool's racing pretty well now, and it's got a chance. Uh, Let Me Go is an interesting one for me. On paper, the last run doesn't look that flash, but he found all sorts of trouble. And he's got beaten seven lengths, but the margin probably should have been two. Um, I wouldn't be ruling it out. Glorious rider. It's racing well enough and fairly consistent. From a good draw, it might be able to run into the ticket somewhere. Uh, not a race I'm overly keen on. I don't think it's a lot of depth. I think the top weight, if he's got it uh, as fit as he's uh, reported to be, and like they've missed the derby run, uh, by only a few points, so he would have had an earmark for a 2,000 metre, solid 2,000 metre run. This 1,800 should be right up its alley. One clearly on top 
from 6 and 14, good chances to 3, 13 and 9 on the place line. We go to the last race, nice tough race to finish the card. There's quite a few that I think have got a winning chance. Um, whoever gets the best run in transit. Glorious Sunday, quite capable of winning a race like this. The barrier, absolutely no help. Um, so you take a chance there. Same with enthusiasm. Both of them are capable of winning a race like this, but they're drawn badly, and that's always a concern. Uh, Autumn Gold. Now, this one here, they brought it last year for the Derby, and uh, they spent big money buying this, but it just never, ever fired. But uh, its trial was very, very good, so maybe they're getting close to, to actually producing something. Uh, it's got to go in. Rewarding Hero, Santa Fe Sun, they've both got chances. Um, probably Rewarding Hero, the 59 and a half. That's a bit of a concern. Santa Fe Sun stepping up to the mile, gives every indication it'll run it. Um, of the rest, Jung Gong, Vital Friends, pretty tough race. Might be a bit of value in the quartet uh, in a race like this. I've got uh, 5, 11, 13, 1, 12 and 14. Um, as I say, most of the card is a, is a good one to watch. Uh, there's some reasonable horses going around, but there won't be any price. Um, the two qu quartets, I think, are uh, 5 and 10. We'll have a close look at those, and if we decide to play, obviously the bets will be up plenty of time for everybody. Um, I've had a bit of feedback from the uh, newsletter that went out. Thank you very much for that. A couple of guys have uh, made a few suggestions, and we appreciate that as well. Um, and we're having a close look at one or two of those. Um, there were some legitimate uh, form line indicators that uh, were presented to me, and I'm quite happy to go and do a little bit of in-depth study on those. As I put in the newsletter, none of us are foolproof. We're all learning up here, even though we've been here a long time. We're learning every day. And um, I never rebuke anybody's uh, input at all. Um, I'm only interested in winning. And if somebody else has got a good idea that uh, we can implement, no problem for me. I'm quite happy to put it in and give the accolades to whoever gave us the idea. So don't be shy. If, you wanna, if you've got something on your mind, just send me an email and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Good luck on the weekend. Hope you've had a, a reasonable uh, Saturday. Uh, the Spring Attack uh, put a black figure in today with a collective the T team. It's ironical, really, playing up here for a couple of years and yet in New Zealand we've only just started and not betting much there at all because of the pools. And uh, we've hit two in a row. So might be some food for thought there. We might, uh, we're might we going to have a bit of a chat about it next week with the boys and see what uh, what we want to do there because uh, we've caught them for a very small amount of money, small percentage, but uh, we might want to have a closer look, especially as long as the TAB keeps guaranteeing the pool. I mean, they guaranteed half a million today and there was nowhere near that invested, so they're digging into their own coffers. doesn't make a lot of sense, and I, I suppose sooner or later they will knock that on the head. So we might have a bit of a dig there uh, each week until we can uh, sort of ascertain how, how strong that pool is going to be long term. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Good luck, and uh, I hope you all have some great success over the weekend.